my skin. Ugh, I just feel like this whole year, obviously because I'm wearing a mask, my skin has been struggling. So for me, it's really important that I take care of my skin because ugh, it's been a mess. So today I'm gonna be doing a detox of my skin. I've been struggling with a lot of breakouts recently and I can tell my pores are just really, really congested. So I'm gonna be using one of my favorite masks ever. This is the Teamy Blends Detox Mask. You guys know I have spoken about this in countless videos. More recently, I included it in my favorite products for acne uh, and acneic skin because you guys, ugh, this, my skin is just really bad right now. But this mask is really great because it actually helps to detox my pores. As you saw in the clip before this, I keep it in the refrigerator. So this feels so uh, nice and smoothing on my skin. Now for me with masks that are for congestion or acne, I don't apply them to my entire face just because some of the areas of my face are a little dry right now. I basically apply this to targeted areas. So for me right now, that would be my chin, my cheeks, my temples, because for whatever reason they are struggling, and my forehead. I don't really have any problems right now on my forehead, but that is one of the areas of my face that gets a little oily. And as you guys see, right on the bridge of my nose, I had a breakout, so I'm going to decongest. Actually, let's put this all over my nose. I tend to get blackheads, so that's going to help also. But this is really nice because it has matcha, lemongrass, and clay, and that really helps to detoxify the pores in your skin overall. So I just leave this on for about 10 minutes. It's going to harden. It's going to get very dark green. And when I take it off, you guys will see that my skin just looks First of all, matte, because clay masks really help with oily skin. And also my pores just look shrunk. Then I'm gonna follow it up with my Teamy Repair Oil. This is like a super, super hydrating oil. So for me, I love this oil because while I'm having so many breakouts all over my face, I've had to use so many products to dry out the acne. So it's really important that I follow that up with an intensely hydrating oil because my skin can get super, super dry after treating it with acne. So it's like this never ending cycle of oily breakouts then dryness and then oil, then breakouts. So it's really a balancing act, but I really like this oil as well. This is infused with chamomile to help calm and soothe your skin. So I really like that. So I'm just gonna go sit down and relax for 10 to 15 minutes really just take time out for myself and let this mask do its thing. pores feel so clean like I feel like I just did like a deep cleanse of my face and all I did was use a mask so that's why I really love this detox mask now my face is feeling a little parched so I'm gonna follow this up with my repair oil just to add some much needed hydration to my face and I'm just gonna press this into my skin it smells like chamomile. It's so soothing and it feels so good on my skin. I love the mask and oil. So now you can tell that my skin is more hydrated and it feels nice. It's nice and detoxed. I'm just gonna wash my hands. 
So yeah, that's my little skincare, self-care day. Love, love this oil, you guys. If you're in the market for something to decongest your pores, I would highly recommend the detox mask. And if you really need something to help soothe and repair your skin, this repair oil is really, really hydrating. So yeah, I will leave these products linked down below as well as a coupon code somewhere on the screen. Now I can go get my day started. Still doing well with daily walking. Yesterday, there was some weirdo following me around. She's, uh, she's protected today. Let's just say that. Women can't even walk in peace. Like, what is life? <sighs> Had my mask. <sighs> but luckily, nobody else. Just really out here walking. They're sitting. <laughs> but it feels good to keep my commitment. Now, I didn't do a HIIT workout yesterday, but the goal is to transition to HIIT workouts in the morning and walks in the afternoon. Right now it's 80 degrees. Hopefully, Next week, we'll have cooler weather because who's not about to be doing this in the summer weather? This one. But I'm staying committed to the goal. And the goal is to be healthy by any means necessary. So it's nine something in the morning. It's a gloomy, it looks like it's cold and not nice outside, but I'm gonna go walk around outside for 30 minutes just because I need to get my heart pumping and get my day started so I can go get ready for this picnic. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the day. Miss Chloe Grace is going, <sighs> should be interesting, but yeah. I'm gonna go get my workout in quickly. You guys know I've been walking every day. I've never gone this early, so I'm just gonna walk around out here. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in a few hours when I'm on my way to the picnic. I want to show you my picnic outfit. Yes, Chloe, you're going to. So I have on this gingham crop top off the shoulder action type of deal. I got this years ago. It is too big. I tried to make it work. It is what it is. Weight loss. <laughs> then I have on these high-waisted like gauze type of pants. They are wide leg. I'll show you um, a better view of them. And I'm wearing my Sam Edelman Gigi sandals with this hat that I got from H&M. 
it's like a wool fedora i need to uh use the lint roller on it but yeah this is my outfit for the picnic come on waist uh, uh. <laughs> so yeah this is my outfit um i'm sure you can't find these pieces right now but i figured this was very fall picnic-y chloe do you want to show your outfit oh okay i guess not but chloe's matching me she has on her black and white uh, and then I'm just taking my never full pouch as my wallet and I'm going to take my Goyard bag as my carry-all. So yeah, I will see you guys once we're there. Oh, my makeup, pretty simple. Well, this is just my regular full face and I'm going to wear Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk with a generic brown liner. The best dark nude combo ever. Yeah, I'll show you guys that when we get to the park. Let me finish packing up and getting ready. It is always a huge ordeal when you have to travel like out of the house with a dog. <sighs> I know those of you who do it feel my pain. So yeah, I will see you guys at the park. We're going to Piedmont Park. You decided to go to the park? I have to clip your face hair. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Yeah, stop. Stop, you don't need to be whining. You're fine, you're in a safe car. We'll be getting out soon. This is why I don't bring her anywhere. But anyway, it's supposed to be raining soon, so we had to change our plans. So I'm on my way to Sublime Donuts, and then I'm just gonna go to my friend's house. It's this Delta, uh, what? See, that's why you should be seated. Yeah, I know. It's this, um, this Delta uh, hurricane that's just messing everything up. I'm the one that has to drive. Shit. So you guys, she's in her lane. So we had to move the picnic inside because of the rain, but it's still fun and Club Monster's here. She crashed the picnic. She wanted to meet her auntie. First of all, who thought it would be this much work <laughs> doing a picnic? Like we are sweating. I don't know if you can tell. Sweaty. This is a lot, setting up a picnic. Like, I feel like next time you need a picnic assistant. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. She, 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 she. she wants to play, but she doesn't want to play with me. But she'll go get it after I throw it. Chloe, why don't you want to play with Kendra? She got you the pizza. If it wasn't for her, you wouldn't have it. So, this is called a Southern... This is a southern apple cider mimosa. Then, well, first of all, look at our lovely picnic basket. Look at this, like. Ooh, it's not COVID, I promise. I'm a little congested. I had cheese yesterday. Picnic basket with all the accoutrements. Then we have a shark coochie board. Turkey, prosciutto, and more cheese. More cheese, four types of cheese, some amazing garlic cracker, garlic and herb. We have olives, cashews, croissants. Apricot jam. Apricot jam, I can't wait to try that. And we have sublime donuts. And tomatoes. And tangerines. Let me give you guys Ooh, a and pesto aioli. And pesto aioli and bitchin' sauce. Hello. Which is the best.
Hi guys, I'm back home. I'm super exhausted and just want to get in the bed, but I wanted to properly end today. It was so much fun and it was exhausting. Like who would have thought just driving and laying down and eating and drinking would be so exhausting, but I am old, it's late. Uh, I got a new House of Siage package I was supposed to film today. I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll see you guys in a day or two. I hope you enjoyed today's portion of the vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, let me turn off my uh, skincare fridge. I think y'all can hear it. So I am getting ready to meet with a business partner and I'm trying on clothes because I also look a mess, but I have not worked in a traditional office setting in like three years. So all of my work clothes are now way too big and I look ridiculous, but I did find a skirt suit, jacket, and shell to wear. I put some dry shampoo in my hair and I am refreshing my hair because it is so dirty. So dry shampoo really helps to nicely soak up the oils. So I usually do this on two week old hair. This is the dry shampoo that I use. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. But yeah, I had the hardest time finding something to wear today because all of my old work clothes are so large. Like, I have this dress. It's a wrap. It's like a faux wrap dress, but it does tie right here. I have it bunched up so tightly that it looks ridiculous, so I won't be wearing this. But I guess that's what I needed to do. Put on some old work clothes that are too big so I can feel good about my weight loss even though I already do, but working from home and especially during quarantine, I don't know. My biggest tip to people is to wear real clothes at least once a week because you can get so caught up in wearing loungewear if you're not aware of it and if you're not careful you will gain a ton of weight because you're not putting on real clothes and you haven't put on a real waistband. <laughs> but I was worried, you guys. I was like, am I going to have to just quickly run to Target and buy, like, some career staples? It was bleak. <laughs> it was bleak. Then I'm going to come home and probably film a House of Siage haul. Yeah, you hear my brush? We have so much to talk about regarding the House of Siage. And I think a lot of people will feel a certain type of way about my opinion on the House of Siage because it's not a very popular one. But you guys know that I'm always going to bring you my real thoughts no matter what. So I'm excited to do that video. I was going to put it up in November, but I feel like the people need to know this now. So it might be going up this month. <sighs> but you guys, let me get ready to go. I feel very sharp. So this is what I'm wearing. Calvin Klein suit jacket. Lane Bryant shell. Lane Bryant was my go-to when I worked in an office. Lane Bryant, like herringbone pencil skirt. Lane Bryant has like my favorite business attire just because they always have really good sales. Their stuff fits. So I decided to do a low ponytail just because it's chic and professional and my hair is dirty. So yeah, shoes are by Enzo. Angiolini skirt is Lane Bryant also. 
Lane Bryant, Calvin Klein. And I'm just gonna wear my Neverfull pouch. <sighs> this is gonna be the first time I'm wearing a mask with like business clothes. I feel so special, but it is 2020. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Bye. That was a lot. That was a lot being masked up for like half a day. <laughs> but um, it went extremely well. It is late now. I'm going to head home, pick up some food. I wanted to do like a skincare Saturday with you guys, but I guess we will do that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go home and relax and decompress and get comfy, but great 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 day I, like it also feels so nice to be in like business attire again like i've not been in business attire in like four years maybe three years i don't know it's been a while with exception of like formal events but like not like business attire but yeah you guys i'm gonna go because i am exhausted i want to get home and get some food and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I don't know why I'm humming bingo. Uh, today I'm having Bianco Leggero with my love, or our love, excuse me, because it is. Our love is slow roasted. That's the mug I'm using. I got this from Target. I want to say when I lived in New York, so a very long, long time ago. I'm using my oat milk frother, well not frother, creamer, which I love. Uh, first of all, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yesterday was so, so busy. I came home and crashed, but let me share this wine with you. It was so good, we got another bottle. So, I picked this up this weekend. This is the Gallo Family Vineyards, the Gallo Family Sweet Watermelon Wine. As you can see, we have finished it. This is what it looks like. I picked it up at a liquor store. Like, I think when I Googled it, Walmart sells this. But this is amazing. It actually tastes like watermelon. It's very sweet, but this is a good summer wine. If you are into sweet wines, definitely check that out. I wish I would have found out about it in the summertime because it's like fall now and I'd rather have more cidery type of things, but it is amazing. And you guys know I'm not, I don't like sweet wines. I like a Zinfandel, a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, yeah, I like a Pinot Noir. Those are my favorite. But that sweet mark watermelon wine is good. It's almost too sweet, just because you guys know I don't really do sugar. I think the next time I get it, I'm gonna cut it with a little bit of club soda with some lime. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, it's Sunday. I am gonna film two videos today, two fragrance videos. I also want to do some self-care, so I think I'm gonna use my Ferreo Bear. I haven't done a skincare Sunday in a while just because life's been kind of crazy. There was another death in my family this week. Um, yeah, check on your older relatives, you guys. Uh, you know, I think a lot of us are dealing with the effects of the pandemic. Um, but I also can't imagine what it's like to be 80 plus and living through probably the longest pandemic um, and also being old and in poor health. Like that's gotta take a toll on your emotional state. So check on your older relatives. Uh, I actually FaceTimed with my grandmother this past week and she was smiling from ear to ear the entire time. Uh, you could definitely tell she was so happy and so appreciative and just 
Okay, I guess Chloe saw something outside she didn't like. But um, you could tell that my grandmother was so appreciative. Last year, I went down to see her probably every month for a few months during the summer and even in the fall. And that was really nice. Um, but yeah, it's just sad. Like, I haven't been able to go and see my grandmother all year. She is elderly and... You know, older people also tend to feel a little isolated. Uh, a lot of their friends might be dying and a lot of the younger people in the family are usually busy with their own lives. And also because of COVID, it's harder to go visit with people because you also want to be sure that everyone's being safe. So <sighs> this is just, she is growling at people outside walking. I know she is, I don't even have to look. But um, this is just a gentle reminder, you guys, to check on your grandparents. If your parents are older, check on an elderly person today. I promise you it will make their day. Yeah, it's like every few weeks someone new is dying. And that's just the reality of life and the aging process. But check on your people that you love, even if it's just calling for a few minutes so they can hear your voice. Uh, if you are able to video chat them, that can make the world of a difference. So, yeah, I think uh, Mental Health Awareness Day was sometime this past week. And I didn't post about it just because I think I was super busy that day. But that's definitely something I am an advocate of. If you guys don't know, I majored in psychology when I got my bachelor's and my master's degree. And so I am a huge proponent of taking care of your mental health. Sometimes that means putting your phone on DND. Sometimes that means taking a day trip by yourself. Sometimes that means having a virtual party with your friends to just keep in contact with people. But uh, definitely be aware of your mental state right now. It's so important. So I am getting ready to film. <sighs> These are my First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I love these for a quick manual and chemical exfoliation. It feels so good. They make your skin brighter, they even out your skin tone, and it removes texture. So I think this year I'm going to do, well next year, <laughs> I'm going to do an updated all about skincare segment. So like three or four years ago, I did a whole year all about skincare. So every month I did a new all about skincare video and I featured exfoliation, uh, vitamin C, retinol, acne care products, anti-aging, stuff like that. Do you guys want to see an updated version? Let me know down below because I actually had so much fun doing that way back when. And those are some of the higher viewed videos on my channel as far as skincare goes. And a lot of people said they have found my channel through skincare. So I think I'm going to do that in 2021 i cannot believe we're almost in 2021 like where has the year gone that's a genuine question <laughs> where has it gone so uh, i think i'm gonna work on that but also i don't know i have no clue what's gonna happen next year in terms of just everything so we will see, but my goal is to do a series like that next year because I think that was good. So that's the goal. Uh, today I'm filming a fragrance haul and, oh, two fragrance hauls, House of Siage and a regular fall fragrance haul, blind buy really excited for this house of siage haul and giveaway i am going to be doing a giveaway in the house of siage haul some people are going to be mad not i don't think mad but i think some people are going to be disappointed and then some people aren't going to agree with my opinion 
but I think you guys know by now that I'm going to speak my opinion because these fragrances are so expensive. So I think you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. But we'll get into that in the video. If they are out by the time this video goes live, I will link them down below. For this past week was really interesting and exhausting. I'm ready for a new week. A week of new opportunities. And I love filming, you guys. I love filming and I love editing. I'm so weird like that because most people who do YouTube, I think people like filming, but they hate editing. I guess because life right now is so, eh, eh, eh. I like tasks where I don't have to use my brain. Like I use my brain to vlog, but it's not like thinking and analyzing, processing, and you know, it's not critical thinking or anything. It's just like creative. So I really enjoy uh, filming and editing. And it's so interesting because to me, the vlogs are so much different than my regular content on my channel. Like this is the real me just sitting down, shooting the shit with you guys, no makeup on, you know, just real life. And the vlogs are like, they're a little vacuum, not the vlogs. The content is a little vacuous sometimes because it's just all about beauty and beauty is a little vacuous sometimes. But I kind of like the mix on my channel. I feel like you guys get to know a lot more about me in the vlogs besides just... Today we're going to be reviewing this Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Gel, Moisturizing Gel, <laughs> you know? So I do... I'm enjoying vlogging, you guys. I don't know how long I'll be keeping up this weekly thing, but um, as long as I'm still enjoying it, I will continue doing it. And right now, I'm really enjoying it. I kind of want to do microblading, you guys. The only reason why I'm leery about it is because everybody I have seen who gets microblading, after a year, you can't even tell. And you guys know I'm a little too cheap to spend four to six hundred dollars on something that's not gonna last a year. Especially when it's my eyebrows, because it only takes me about five to ten minutes max every day to put on eyebrows. I am interested in it because it would be nice to wake up with eyebrows. I don't know what that life is like. Uh, I have never had full brows ever. So, I wasn't blessed with brows. But thank goodness, I know how to put some on. That's what matters, right? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to share these fragrances with you guys. I feel like we're having fragrance month on the channel. But I love talking about fragrance. And even though they are not some of my highest watched videos, I don't care. I love talking about it. Honestly, I feel like the only videos y'all really watch anymore are vlogs, which is fine. I'm still going to do the regular content that I love because that's staying true to what I want to bring to my channel. And I really should be resting today, but um, yeah, there were some mishaps this week, this past week. People died and so... I didn't get all the videos I wanted to get filmed. So here I am on Sunday filming before I have family coming into town and I'm probably gonna cook for them and spend time with them and get stuff done. Everything will get done, but it's just like, wow, today was supposed to be a day of rest. But here we are, a purple toned blush. I thought I had a NARS purple blush. Maybe I don't. I'm going to use MAC Conjure Up. And this is from a collection a long, long time ago. This is from when I used to be heavy into MAC. Uh, a lot of us. This was like the era of being in college. When I would go to Atlantic Station. <laughs> when I was off of class or out of class. And I would go buy up the MAC counter at Dillard's. Being stupid, <laughs> young and dumb in college. Ooh, this color is so pretty. 
I'm glad I pulled this out. So I'm gonna finish putting on my makeup. I'll show you guys the finished look after I am ready. Okay guys, I finished filming both videos. <sighs> the House of Siage video was a little spicy, but it had to be said because I want you guys to be properly informed. So those two videos will be up hopefully soon. This is my favorite lip, by the way. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Top. This is what the lipstick looks like. And then I just use a generic brown lip liner. This is from, oh, this is LA Girl. It's not that generic. This is LA Girl and this color is called Coco. I wanna say I got this from like Ulta many, many moons ago. I just outlined my lips and then I blend it in and it gives it a little bit of depth to it. <sighs> this is gonna be my nude all fall and winter. So I just got a special package in the mail. Uh, I got two bags. One, I will insert a picture of here. Hopefully you guys saw my unboxing. And in that video, I teased about having a giveaway. You guys know a few weeks ago, I was telling you how I really want to give back to you guys more because you guys support my channel and I really appreciate it. So when brands reach out to me and are so gracious to gift me with things, I'd like to give back. And honestly, I've had an amazing reaction from all the brands that I have done this with. So thank you so much to Teddy Blake for providing this bag for a giveaway. So the lucky winner will get a Teddy Blake bag. Now, it won't come in this box because the bag is so small and it wouldn't make sense to package it in this box. But uh, this is how the bag comes packaged. So you know it is absolutely brand new. And here is the bag. So the bag that I am going to be giving away personally to one of my lucky viewers I've actually never seen it. This is my first time unboxing it. So you will receive it in the really nice quality Teddy Blake New York dust bag. Now, if you have not seen that unboxing, I've done two videos now with Teddy Blake. They sell amazing, high quality, luxurious Italian leather bags. I mean, you can smell the leather in the dust bag. It smells like a leather boot. <laughs> so the bag that I'm going to be giving away is this cute little mini bag. So this is the Teddy Blake Eliza, and I want to say this is the five inch bag. So it's really small, but you know, tiny bags are really in right now. And this is a gray color with a beautiful, beautiful pink leather interior. The complete bag is leather. It is lined in leather. There's this really nice gold detail right here on the drawstring. The strap is adjustable. This is such a cute little bag. Um, I know it doesn't look like it could hold much, but I would say you could probably fit your phone, some lipstick, your car keys, a card holder, like most of your daily essentials. And honestly, a bag like this is perfect for quarantine year or years because it sits close to the body. You can wear this cross body or on your shoulder and you could even shorten the straps and just hold it like this. I think this is such a cute bag. So this is what I will be giving away for this giveaway because I have to ship this product out myself. Unfortunately, this is only going to be open to my US subscribers, but the giveaway details are really, really simple. You must be following me on Instagram and like the picture that I'm gonna post right here. Uh, of me and my Teddy Blake Ava Croco bag. Um, so like that picture and tag two friends in the comments. This giveaway is going to be open for a week. So I think it's gonna end on November 1st, but I will of course insert a graphic on the screen. So that's all really, really simple. Follow me on Instagram, like the picture of me in the all denim outfit with my Croco bag and tag two friends in the comments and one lucky lady or gentleman will win this Teddy Blake Eliza bag. And you guys, I just want to be able to give you guys, like, you have to be able to experience Teddy Blake's bags. Like, this is a really nice quality leather bag. Um, I like all types of bags from 
like really expensive designer to luxury to fast fashion to Amazon. I wear it all. And so I can't wait for one of you lovely ladies or gentlemen to be able to uh, receive this bag. It's so cute, so small, but such a nice bag. And I think these mini bags are really in right now. Good luck to you guys who are entering. I will leave the link to this actual bag down below in case uh, you guys just would like to buy it yourself. So definitely check out Teddy Blake. Once again, thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this giveaway. I'm just happy to be able to give back to you guys because you all are the reason why I get to work with these amazing brands. So yes, definitely be sure to enter the giveaway and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.